was smelling the head of Sayyidina Hussain and Sayyidina Hassan. Then from the head, he moved towards the neck. And then he started to smell the head. And then the neck of both of his grandsons. And you know, Rasulullah never referred to them as my grandsons. What did he say about them? <coughs> my sons. <laughs> as he was smelling them, one of the Sahaba came and they said, Messenger of Allah, it is not a habit from the Ahlul Arab that we smell our children, we kiss them. Why do you smell them? And he said, do you not know Al Hassan, what was saying? Rayhan attain for Do you not know Al Hassan and Hussein are the two flowers of Jannah? And the two flowers of Jannah. Say that Hassan was saying the same. One narration about the pure Sayyidah Fatima al-Zuhra radiyallahu anha. She is that woman who was known as Umma Abi, the mother of her father. Why? Because after the passing of Sayyidah Khadija al-Kubra radiyallahu anha, she used to go out of her way to serve her father. She would cook for him, she would clean for him, she looked after him to the extent where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi said to her, you are like my mother. So she was known as the mother of her father, one of the titles given to her. She is known as At-Tahira, the pure. Why is she known as the pure? Because during her life, no care mahra ever saw her face or heard her voice unnecessarily or even knew she was present when she was present in the building because she kept herself concealed Sayyidah Fatima Zuhra radiallahu anha to the extent that the day she passed on she left it in her will to our master Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib our Ali when I am to pass you are not to inform anyone you are not to have it announced in Masjid al -Nabu. You are to cover my janazah with the branches of a date tree, my body, cover it with the branches of a date tree and put my green cloth over my body. And then in the middle of the night, you are to carry my body alone. And you are to bury me in such a location that people won't even know where I am buried. In the world, I kept myself concealed I want to be concealed even after death. Sayyidah Fatima al Zuhra radiallahu anha. When the day came and our master, Sayyidah Ali ibn Abi was carrying her to the historical cemetery of Al Baqir, Sayyidah Abdullah radiallahu anhu arda saw him and he came running up to him and he said, What is this? What do you carry? Sayyidah Ali ibn Abi Talib said, By Allah, you are not to say anything to anyone. This is the prophetic princess. The prophetic princess, Sayyidina Fatima al Zuhra, she has passed on. So he said, How can it be? How can it be that this has happened and you've not told anyone? He said, This is her will. This is her nasiha to me. That even after I pass, nobody needs to know anything about me. Then he said, Assist me in digging her grave. He assisted Sayyidina Ali ibn Talib in digging the grave. And then he said, Dig another one. And another one was done. He said, dig the third one. The third one was done. And he said, now please turn your face. This Sahabi turned his face and said that Ali ibn Abi Talib discreetly put the heavenly body of Sayyidah Fatima <coughs> Zuhra radiallahu anha into the grave. That Sahabi says, I heard with my own ears. I heard with my own ears the land of Al-Baqi 
the grave was calling out, come into my stomach, how a child comes into the stomach of a mother, oh heavenly princess. Even the ground spoke up, declaring her purity.